Hi everyone, hope you're fine. Today is not um, like a review, it's a video apart. Today we are looking at the Arter Audio Time Tosser. What is this little box? So it's a prototype, you know, it's a 3D printing for now. It was on the Kickstarter next June, uh, no, last, last June, and they uh, they have the reroad whole goal, so every they have to to have I think uh, seventy uh, thousand euros. So they add, so it will be a final product, maybe in uh, November. They have done uh, Indiegogo to uh, Indiegogo campaign, so you can pre-order if you want. You can help the brand to um, to make the final product. So the time tosser, it's um, uh, a mix between a dilly, a roll, a loop, a little sequencer, little slicer, and it takes with uh, into a, a, bu a buffer. It takes uh, eight bit of your track of your piano, your synthesizer, your rhythm, something like that, and you can play directly on little bit. Uh, for now. Um, it's it's a prototype, so uh, the um, the word, the numbers will be not uh, the probably not the the same in November. But you see, um, for DJs, we are counting uh, counting in uh, in beats. But this is a uh, major. Uh, how can I can I say one major? Yeah, it's a major. So you have quarter major, eight, uh, one eight, and one sixteen. For me, just so you can have in your head during the video that it's one bit, half a bit, quarter bit, for example, and you have ternary, uh, ternary bit here. So let's see uh, first what we have uh, some function. I can show you two func uh, three function in the menu because there is one function loop function what is not done yet. So I can show you the repetition mode and the um, slicer mode if we, if we can uh, if we can say like that. And after we will uh, see that you can uh, use it directly on your computer with your favorite uh, DAW like Ableton, Logix, whatever, uh, because this unit can also work like an audio uh, unit. So you can directly uh, put it, yeah, audio unit, uh, not VST, audio unit, and you can make the um, everything we will see in the video, you can make the same thing directly on the computer and record it. Uh, li like in Ableton, for example, so it's pretty cool. Uh, let's see the uh, connection first. For the connections, you have your power on off, you have your USB port uh, could be used for the um, power supply if you use it with the uh, send return, for example. You can use it for the computer with your DAW software. The input output here, it it's the prototype, so it could be two port, one for the in, one for the out through. Here it's just the input, but it's just a prototype we will see with the final product. And you have your audio input and output jack this quarter for the audio for your send return. So let's see what is in the box. So we will see the function, the standalone function, because you can directly put on your your mixer your um, Mao mixer or DJ mixer, this video will be on the DJ mixer. So you can directly put it on the send return and choose if you want to make some loop or roll directly on the, um, the rhythm part or the audio, uh, the vocal part, something like that. After we will see the, and after we will see the um, computer part. So first you have free mode. The first mode, when you push mode, first button, you will have a, repeat, a repeater, like a roll, delay, something like that. After we, you will have the loop mode, but I can't, like I said to you, I can't show you because it's not finished. And after the sequence um, slicer mode, if you prefer. You have a reverse mode, mute mode, so you can mute and engage some function if you want. And um, a, a view, like a view mode because it's a view meter we will see after. This um, device can have 
now, for now, because I, I don't have the final one, but you can have also um, MIDI clock inside and outside for now, but I have only inside, so the MIDI in clock. So I have my Ableton Live um, giving the MIDI clock to the time tosser, but you can also tap tempo and you can also have um, an auto uh, BPM detection uh, when you have music inside. So first mode, repeater mode and let's see it in music so first we will see with only rhythm and after with little voice so you choose rhythm like that and you see tempo is good so i have one bit here so you can directly put the first one like that you can have quarter for example it's name one eight but like i said it's a major so one eighth of a major it's uh, the um, it's half a bit so you have two ways to use that you can uh, recall a sequence directly because is recording 8 bit and you can recall a past bit for example Or one bit you will see with the voice it's better be because you can call directly a part of the voice and you can doing like a roll you push the first one like that and you push what you want to repeat you can have ternary beat like that But you can also make a tonally like that and have a uh, half beat. And you can also call it like that. Every time you will push, you will have the track where you have the track, you know? Like the track is playing underneath. If I push a beat, Uh, a, a kick for example I will have the kick but if I choose to uh, choose a charlie or snare I can have it the clap oh let's see when the you will have the charlie after here yeah So you can have what you want, it's pretty cool. You can uh, decrease and increase the BPM, um, um, divide by two or multiply by two, but we will see with the uh, voice. You can have a reverse mode. It can be more longer like that. Or it can be very short. You have a mute button, you can mute directly like that and put an echo for example you see if i put an echo here i can mute if i want but you can also make modification directly you have the beat here so for for example um, uh, half a beat etc and you have the meter mode with this button and this button. But you can also make some things, uh, some manipulation, some functions directly with the view meter. And the view meter will have a red one when you have uh, too much level. You see, if I put mod one with one bit, So it's pretty cool. You can disengage it. And let's go to uh, the vocal part. And I will show you that you can decrease or increase, multiply by two, divide by two 
with this button. If you want to multiply, you push three times, like that. Bing, bing, bing. And it feels so good. When I music, it gets me feet. And if you want to multiply by two, you push once, once. And you have not one bit, but two. And you can have a little filter with that. And you can recall a sequence in the past. But I can put one bit here. Etc. Etc. It's pretty good. So it's the first mod. You have the second mod. You see with mod, um, mod and the second button, but it's loop and it's in construction, like uh, I I could say. But you have the um, slicer mod. It's pretty cool because you can record 8 bit the the time to record 8 bit, and you can apply what you want like a slicer and you can repeat it like that I will take the first one oh I have to take the real bit yeah like that so I have will I will have 8 bit here so when it's done I push the function when I want it let's have the phrase of the track here there uh, it is um, calling the first bit you you just heard this so you can have the first bit and after you can listen to every bit you want And you see, you can repeat when you want. You can directly put one. Or you can directly... You see, call every everything like that. And you can go in directly into your music. So it's pretty, pretty cool. Feel it. 
And let's finish with the audio unit plugin directly on your computer. So I have three uh, channels with uh, my, uh, no, let's talk about the channel. So I have my rhythm here, the instrumental and the vocal, vocal. So let's put the time tosser plugin directly on my audio part. Yeah, let's see that it's working. And after. Everything worse is very cool unit. So works perfectly. So you can record another channel with the modifications, etc. You know Ableton how it works. And voila, it was the prototype of the Time Toyser of Alter Audio. Um, I hope you really like this video and really like the product. So like I said, you can directly go to the Indiegogo campaign and have a pre-order for the time tosser. If you have any questions about this product, knowing that um, it could have modifications, but the whole thing, the whole idea is here, uh, feel free to ask uh, directly under the video. Um, see you next content and take care everybody. Bye bye.